Hi, it's Jen and Tammy back with more cool notions available at Shabby Fabrics. You keep coming up with stuff oh, every time. I've got a bunch. I'm almost self-conscious when I sew around <laughs> you because every time she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you doing it like that? <laughs> so Tammy thought, taught me how to use the needle spreader, right? We talked about that in a previous video. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to just subscribe. And that Absolutely. way you're always seeing yep. the new videos, tips and tricks, DIY yep. video, all that stuff. Um, so I am still learning all the notions things because yep. I have a very, yep. when I started off as a young quilter, I didn't have any money. I was lucky to get fabric. Fabric. <laughs> right? Fabric is good. That's so good. So you taught me how to use a needle threader. Okay. I threaded all my straw needles and I have them in this pin cushion and I kind of have this mess. And you yes. said there's a better way to organize To store this. your needles. Okay. Yes. So show me how. Show, okay. Show us how. All right. All right. Here we go. Let's go. All right. This is a domed threaded needle case. This is by Clover. So I'm gonna open this up. All right, and I'm gonna take a needle. Oh, see, this is a mess. My cat likes to play with <laughs> stuff like that, and that's not good. Kids do too, that draws children. I think this is a much better way to store your needles. Well, I mine get somehow in a knot, <laughs> and then it I it, it's a mess. So. It happens. Okay, so we're gonna insert our needle into one of the grooves here. All right, loop our thread here, and we are gonna spin this in, and it's winding our thread onto, how cool is that? What? Did you see that? Let me do it. I know, you do it. Okay. You try it. I always feel like a kid when I'm doing this, because I'm like, I what? <laughs> okay, oh, and I know that it said make sure there's no don't knot. Not. Yes, don't knot your thread. Because then you will have a mess. You will and have a mess. And I know there's a, if this that is, happens, right? Oh yes, yep. If that happens, this is an emergency hatch. <laughs> you can open this. And emergency hatches retreat. are on my airplane. <laughs> yeah, <Okay. laughs> They're good, though, in quilting. I love emergency They're plans. good on airplanes, too. <laughs> They're good, too. Okay. Yes, they are. Okay, so right. it looks like there's... So in, in one, one of two, your three, grooves. Four, five, six. There's like you eight. can have ten. Ten. There's ten okay. grooves on there. So I'm just gonna pick one. Yep. Just now, pick do one. I need to move anything? No. Nope. Just to... take the one right next to here. Okay. Yep. So I just get one of those slots next to this kind of yep. hook. Yeah. Because that's where your thread is gonna be looped. Okay. I'm gonna okay. put it in. All right. Put it on the table. Okay. Okay. And put your thread through the loop, through okay. the groove. Yep. Hold your thread slightly. Okay. And spin your dial. It feels like a toy. This is it cool. It is a toy. It's like a wind-up oh toy. Oh my goodness. How cool is that? So when I, I know it. I'm going to, you know, do, because this is the thing. When I applique, because I don't like to thread the needles, which now I actually enjoy. Well, now you can thread them. And That's because right. I'm worried about the mess, I tend to always work with just one color. Right. Versus going back and forth with Multiple different colors. Multiple colors. Correct. This is more fun. So if I want to work with red, I can simply pull this out now. Yep. And everything else. Slowly. This is cool. Done. So it's How cool okay. Is that? You need this, Sold. and I need yep. this. So. Exactly. You can take this traveling. Oh, it has right. the case. It has the cover. You're ready to go. Throw it in your quilting bag. You're ready to go. And this is the domed threaded needle case by Clover. Just get one. I'm definitely Perfect. getting one. They're awesome. All right. Well, we'll see you next time. Thank you.